Like some all first verse shit. Fat boy. Damn, I'm wild. Shout out to Damn, I'm wild. Fat boy, what's going on? Shout out to Damn, I'm wild. Damn, I'm wild. Damn, I'm wild, man. Shout out to you, brother. Shout out to Fat boy. Damn, I'm wild. Damn, I'm wild. Check out Damn, I'm wild. Man, Fat boy. Cook up. Man, Fat boy say, I respect the culture. I advise you niggas to do the same. It's Friday morning. Niggas got to get to the bag. It's payday. What y'all niggas doing with y'all money? Y'all fucking up the bag? Y'all niggas ain't smack. Smack motherfucking white. Y'all niggas ain't blowing checks and shit. Smack getting to the money. My nigga, you hear me? Shit. Who paying their rent late today? It's the fifth. You better pay that shit. Y'all asses will be watching me from your car. Sitting in the parking lot. Passing your girl the snacks in the back seat when she's trying to stretch out because she got to get up for work in the morning. From the car. You ever get dressed from the trunk? Nigga, shit's uncomfortable. You don't want to end up like that. Cash rules everything around me. Money make you feel better every day you count it. Niggas gon' hate you. Ain't no way around it. I'm lounging. Used to stuff pounds in that crown pit. From the first date with them young niggas bowed. Pistol in your face. I'm like, who you getting loud with? Never see my team dressed. Try and see a green vest or a white race. We the dope that the fiends test. Got niggas getting to that money in the PJ. We next, Wilmington, the city you ain't seen yet. I mean that. Small city losing track of what the murder count is. You heard about this out of town and how you burn around it. Niggas move through them back blocks. And niggas move through them packs. Catch your boo, give a back shot. We put it over time. Thugger got the ad block. Still do it for them half knots. Okay, bitches know you poppin'. Niggas know you got it. So shorty with the buns run, suck a nigga sausage. Some niggas with the guns run, take it from your pockets. When we was out hustling, it was about getting cream. These drug dealers hide in the dope fiends. These drug dealers spend beyond their own means. Dip into the pack money, how they gon' breathe. Set up blood, they on, time to arm, don't show up. Soon a nigga see him in it. Call me fat boy, man. AKA, I'm not in the NBA. But I am the two God, a.k.a. I might not be the man, but I'm right next to God. Shout out to you, you, and you. Nigga, don't adjust your fucking volume. The accent is fucked up. I'm from Baltimore, you should already know. Let's just start the show. Shout out to y'all, man. It's your man, Fat Boy, checking in. Y'all already know what time it is. Shout out to all the wild goons, all the lady wild goons. <coughs> I'm here, man. We just talking today, though. I'm just going to ramble a bunch of shit. Y'all can follow along, tune in or tune out. It's all, it's all good. You already clicked it. I already got credit for the view. <laughs> so, dude, that's on you from here on out, my nigga. Check out when you're ready. It's nice. I'm glad you stopped by, though. I fuck with you. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. So, let's start here and shit. So, check this out, right? This verb and DNA shit really going to happen now. Because DNA won't stop. <clears throat> Verb definitely not going to stop. Beasley already said he with it for booking the battle. So, I guess we, uh, I guess we got to get that battle now. I'm not I'm not crazy about that shit. I told y'all that shit before, but I ain't. Oh, shout out to uh, the homie Mike Ryder. Shout out to you, bro. I think that's dope. He hit me up early and told me. Yo, your channel funny, and, you know, I be watching, my, my girl be watching. My nigga, you a different nigga, because I can't with my girl. I can't. Listen, let me tell you some stuff. All right. I'm a Ravens fan, bro. I can't marry or date a woman that's a Steelers fan. Now, my girl, she a Cowboy fan. Feel me? I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. Sad man. She a Cowboys fan, and uh, shit, still. <laughs> oh, all right, so you gotta draw the line somewhere, my nigga. Battle rap is mine. When you watching love and hip hop and shit, I don't watch them bitches. I don't. I don't want to know nothing about them hoes. You know what I'm saying? When you watching uh. The, the, what's that shit? The Black Ink Crew and all that. When my girl watch all that shit, I don't watch that shit. That's hers. I let her have that. You can't do battle rap with me because I, I won't allow it. When I watch battles and shit, she got to go. You out of here. Your time has expired. I will see you later when this shit is over. 
please don't return until the last battle go off. I know it's going to be 11 at night, but stay outside. Don't come back in here. Please. I tried that shit when we first started dating. I tried that shit. Uh, we was, I showed her Hitman versus John John and shit. You know, you know what she's going to say? This, this is what my girl going to say. Oh, that's Hitman. I know Hitman. It's your last battle. You're not, you're not about to come in here and make this sexual. And I don't want to hear what niggas you like and who cute and all that. I don't want to. You're not about to do that to my shit. You're not about to do that to battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Now, I knew I knew it was a rap for her because I was listening to Caps one day, right? I cut the, I cut the shit on. And I was, it was on the big screen, right? You know, our caps had that. I don't know if he still do it, but when the when the uh, when the intro to his uh, the radio show come on, he got the little music playing. Well, nigga, you good? You good? You good? You nigga, you good? You you know that shit? That shit came on. I looked over. My girl was dancing. I was like, that's it. Get your ass, you out of here. It's a rap for you. This battle rap shit not for you. Mm -mm. You're not playing the game. My girl dope as shit, though, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Y'all gonna get me. All right, I'm gonna tell y'all. Y'all y'all gonna get me in trouble. So, my girl, this is how dope my girl is. My girl, she not, she don't like girls like that, right? But she like looking at women's butts. And she, she like looking at girls' ass. Baby, if you watching this, please don't text me. I, I love you. Don't text me nothing crazy. She like she like looking at girls' butts and stuff. So she, if we out somewhere or some shit like that, or she see some shit, <laughs> hit a nigga, hit a nigga with one of them, or she see something crazy, shit, screenshot that shit and send it to me. We both be happy, but I'm yes, but I can't convert her over to the. She won't come over to the dark side, my nigga. <laughs> Shout out to y'all niggas for watching Battle Rap together or whatever. If, if, even if it's just my channel, y'all. I can't convert my girl for shit. She won't come over to the dark side for nothing. I knew she was the one, fam. I'm into the BB dubs badly. Shout out to Posey. I am. You know what I'm saying? I knew my girl was the one. The first date we ever went on, I took her out to go get cheesesteaks and shit. They got the small cheesesteak or the large cheesesteak, right? You know me, I'm fat boy for a reason. I was like, let me get the large cheese steak, my nigga. I looked across the table and, and he said, for you, ma'am. And my girl said, I also had a large cheese steak. And I was like, mm. oh my God, you the one. <laughs> I've been with that girl ever since. <laughs> Baby, I love you. Don't dump me. All right, let's start battle rap again because niggas, y'all about to. Niggas about to fuck up my whole relationship. All right. So I know niggas are saying shit like, yo, you going to talk about Summer Impact? Like, fam, everybody's already talking about it. I know all your other favorite bloggers is talking about fucking Summer Impact. I, I'm i not bored with it already and no shit like that. It's just like, fam, it's too unpredictable Like to realistically be like, oh, I'm going to just pick who going to win. Like, you can just make a pick, but... I like to have a legitimate reason. And the reason I ain't about to do no whole blog breaking all that shit down is because, fam, it's too unpredictable. You don't know which one of these niggas going to hit the stage and the crowd fuck with everything them niggas saying. They're going to make them niggas look like gods. You don't know what's about to happen in these battles, bro. Chemistry might not be there. You picking niggas. They, oh, Twerk and Sugar, both the niggas from Jersey. They, you know, they homies and shit and they hang. They, them niggas... You don't know if that shit gonna work on stage. Suge might fuck some shit up. A twerk might forget a line. You don't know what the fuck gonna happen. Shit might be off. This shit take a lot of work, man. The chemistry gotta be there. And you would like to think, oh, well, they got the most chemistry, so they that's what's gonna win. Fam, man. And DNA had a lot of chemistry with K Shine. And, and gun titles came up that bitch and made their world uncomfortable. You understand me? Shit was bad, boy. So, I'm not going to sit here and go through all the battles. But it is a... We're not going to get another fire lineup like this. No time soon. At least I don't think so. URL 
is selling drugs. They're stealing money. Diddy, if wherever you are, check your account. It might be in the negative. Go look at your ship because these niggas is spending somebody's money and they're trying to spend all of it. I don't know what these niggas is doing, but that shit is crazy. I had to, nigga, I was like, fam, is they billing us $79.99 or just $7.99? They getting all of the money right now. Shout out to them. I ain't counting niggas' pockets. I'm just saying. Y'all niggas got another bag. The bag got a bag in it. You understand me? Nigga, we got Moop, Lux, Hollow, and Surf, and Cal, Clips, Goods, all these niggas. I don't know how they afford an alicia. Somebody bank account is in the red. You, you hear me? I don't know who money it is. Them niggas know how to fuck up a check, don't they? Oh my god. It's a fire ass lineup though. The question now is Is this the is this car rival to Summer Madness 2 fam? This definitely got Summer Madness 2 kicked right up the ass. I'm sorry. Summer Madness 2. You looked intriguing until this card. God damn. Every nitty, twerk, like the heavy hitters is out from this generation and the old. Like, whoo. Hitman on the car. Oh, I forgot Hitman on the That nigga won 99,000. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> that nigga won a bag. So, man, hey, shout out to URL, man. They've been holding it down. RBE, what y'all gonna do, man? And this shit done went out. Fucking J Legend. Hold on. The reason. Oh. Excuse me. RBE, what y'all gonna do, man? Because y'all niggas is dropping battles that we forgot y'all had. And them niggas dropped E Ness. <laughs> Them niggas dropped Enos versus J Mills the other day. That, that was their rollout back. Man, get up out of here with that trash. Somebody asked me, somebody said, yo, is you trying to you holding your cigar up to try to cover your mouth? What? Why you always trying to cover? Fam, I don't, let me tell y'all niggas why I do this real quick. I be holding it up, right? The first few videos I did, I be, I had a cigar down, right? Where I couldn't see it. Nigga, I got holes in some of my pants from the shit catching my pants off. Y'all niggas don't see when the ashes be burning holes in my clothes and shit. Yeah! So I try to keep it up where I can keep an eye on it and shit. That's all. This ain't on no, on no other shit, fam. I don't know, niggas, y'all want to see my lips or something? I don't know what the fuck niggas care about that shit. For somebody asked me that shit. Like, man, you want to see my mouth? You want to, what the fuck is y'all niggas into? Anyway, uh, RB, what y'all niggas doing, fam? Because y'all can't keep dropping these battles that, I mean, obviously you want to roll the content out and you want to get your money's worth of shit. But, uh, y'all, this ain't, this ain't working out. It's, it's, it's starting to, Y'all starting to look watered down. If y'all can't... Listen, this way y'all fucked up, and I said this back when it happened. When that whole verb and Iron Solomon shit happened, uh, they needed that battle. They needed that battle. You needed verb. You, you later on got Hitman, right? You could have had the Midwest, the Midwest niggas in your back pocket. The Young Ills, the Hitmans, the Verbs... The Calicos, you could have had them niggas constantly in your back pocket. Cal ain't been over there in a minute till now. Mook ain't been over there in a minute till now. He ain't Midwest. Verb, that nigga wasn't really on URL on a regular basis like that when you booked them for Mook. Like, them niggas could have been your, that could have been your staff. You could have picked them niggas up comfortably and had a whole rollout with the vets from now on on your cards and booked them niggas for the matches they want. And I'm pretty sure that's what ARP was trying to do. He was trying to get the nigga Lux on his shit. He was trying to get, I mean, get Verb to battle Lux on his shit. He was trying to get Verb to get Iron Solomon. Like, he was trying to feed Verb, but that nigga fucked up somewhere, bro. 
And it's like when you fuck that up, trying to fight for a verb to stick to your card and do whatever. I understand this business, bro. I understand you got to do certain shit. And he was fighting for what he thought was right. And then Tech Nine shit came and a nigga tried to step out there and was like, look, I dropped it. And the fans was like, oh, you clout chasing, blah, blah, blah. I, I understand what the nigga was trying to do. He was trying to show that he also was in a different space because of Tech Nine passing like the rest of us. You know what I'm saying? Let bygones be bygones. We not here forever. Let's move on type shit. But in my opinion, shit like that. Yeah, it's cool to do it out in front of the public, but you know niggas gonna judge. Whether you do good or do bad, niggas gonna judge you no matter what. He should have did that shit behind the scenes, but you fucked up by not keeping the Midwest movement in your back pocket. Now, you gotta do some fishing, my nigga. You gotta round some niggas up. This what I... Shout out to Black Compass. Them niggas brought up something interesting, and I'm, now it, it got me wondering. Why, why the fuck is ARP and them not rounding up these we go hard niggas, these gates of the garden niggas, and filling up the bottom of their cars with these niggas who really got the they shit down. You grabbing these one SK niggas that don't nobody know nothing about. And we're like, who the fuck is this nigga? No diss to the niggas that been one SKs, but we don't know these niggas. We don't know y'all like that. So niggas really be tuned out. But if that nigga was to say, you know, we got, you know, Ish Moolah versus some, I'm like, okay, we know who the fuck that is. All right, I tune in for that battle. Just because we familiar with it. But when you start naming some niggas that we don't really know. And then when them niggas get on stage, they choke. Or them niggas will go a whole round. And we just sitting there like, the fuck is this nigga talking about, fam? Like, we going to turn out, bro. And then when you go to drop them battles, you like, y'all got to tune into this one. Like, fam, it was on the car. It was ass. Why are you dropping this? We ain't going to watch this shit. So, I don't know. That begs... That begs the ass. Like, I don't know what RBE gonna do. Like, y'all can't really drop an act because y'all not gonna charge me another $7.99 for to watch the same niggas on your app that's already on the URL app. You need your own battlers. That's why I'm like, Shh, this nigga need to, they, they need to start picking these Rico Hard niggas up, Gate to the Garden, uh, Trey BL, all of y'all need to, man, y'all better start grabbing them niggas up and start making it work. That's a fucking fact. Add the ladies. This ladies need a home, bro. Add the ladies to your shit. Anyway, I'm off that topic. Next topic. Let's talk about uh Battle of the Year. This shit keep going out, and I swear to God, J Legend, we ever meet up in person. Hold on. The reason. Oh. Excuse me. Battle of the Year. Um, I got some I got some thoughts on Battle of the Year or the best battler in the world right now. I got thoughts on all that right now. So I guess I'll get into some of that real quick. Um, I feel like Danny Meyer is getting slighted, bro. But to a degree, I fully understand why. All right. So... Battler of the Year also ties into who has the best battles of the year. And that's always a reflection of your opponent, too. Now, Champion of the Year is not a reflection of uh, how good your opponents were, but the level of opponent you got. For example, if you battle, let's say, k Shine and he give you a trash performance, you still battle and beat k Shine. But if you battle Bankhead and that nigga give you a fucking classic, y'all make a classic together, that's dope. But it's still Bankhead at the end of the day, and that's no diss to him. Battle of the Year is all about what you have done. You know what I'm saying? Danny has been amazing. His comp hasn't been out of this world. And, but he's battled some 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 names you familiar with, but uh, I don't know. I still feel like Danny should be number one or number two. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, obviously Av is having a solid year. He cannot afford to fuck this up with franchise. He got to get in his space. I seen this nigga going back and forth with Verb. I see this nigga going back and forth with Ace Amin as recently as early well yesterday. 
Av in a different space right now. Uh, Rum Nitty got to get mentioned. I mean, that nigga is, he just, the Baphomet is here, my nigga. I, I, that's not even a name I would play with. I'm, I'm one of them niggas, like, if I was a battle rapper <laughs> and Beasley called me, he'd be like, so, I got a big battle for you. I'm like, yeah, Beasley, set these niggas up, Bees, line me up. Who you got, my nigga? Beasley be like, Rum Nitty say he want to battle you. Hello? Hello? Fat boy, you still? Hello? I'll be done. My, the call is, oh, I'm not battling. N- nigga, fuck out of here. You got to be top tier talent to even consider one to stand in front of that shit. I don't got time for a second round of death. <laughs> fucking expire in front of our very eyes and shit. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. Rum Nitty now here playing with you niggas. That shit dangerous. It's kind of strange how my nigga not necessarily getting clear wins. I ain't gonna hold you. To be that nigga that everybody's saying is all, you know, I see the culture get, you know, kind of low-key sliding this nigga wins. If, if, if one of the rounds is even close, they gonna say he won because he getting that second. They gonna say he won. So you in deep shit. You gotta convincingly beat Nitty to, to get that win. They, they, they sliding T-Top out the door right now on that app. Um, best battler in the world right now, though. I think it's K-Shine, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. And I ain't gonna hold you. Low-key, just for niggas that's paying attention. Hitman don't battle every three or four months, but that nigga is he not... That shit he did versus fucking Bill? Who the fuck is this nigga? Who bars he stole? I didn't know that nigga could write to that level. That nigga, he fucking wigged. Speaking of which, I seen... I'm all over the place. That's what this whole blog is about. We just talking, fam. Speaking of which, I seen uh, Ruin Your Day. Shout out to Avo and Geechee and, and Ilmac and all them niggas that be over there. I love that fucking Ruin Your Day joint. I, I watch them all the time. Uh, the Hitman versus uh, Averb. They sat down and watched that battle. So as soon as I cut this off, that shit is coming right onto my phone, bro. I'm tuned in to see what these niggas think about that battle. That was that was a goodie. One of the greatest battles of all times, if not the best battle we ever watched. It's definitely in that box. Um, yeah, man. Kayshawn. He not playing, bro. This nigga. He got on 15 Minutes of Fame. or hip, No, he got on Hip Hop is Real. Was the, nigga, this nigga beat Rock. He beat Nitty. Even if you think he lost to Geechee, the nigga stood toe-to-toe with Geechee. This nigga not, he ain't playing. Nigga ain't playing, bro. Stood in front of Hitman, held his own, even if you got him losing. Nigga say he beat Av. Yeah, me, not so much. <laughs> but, all right, you know what I'm But the nigga been out here, he been out here dancing, bro. The last two years, this nigga been on fire. He's not stumbling, choking. He's not fucking up rounds. Ducking battles, he ain't dodging shit. This nigga calling out Briz, Hollow, Pat Stay. This nigga want the smoke. Chess, I know you want that battle, bro, but you better come in that bitch with all the clips loaded. It's going to get nasty if you don't. You even think about stumbling in that battle and you getting killed. So rap for you that night. I think it's K-Shine, bro. I know a lot of niggas going to say uh, Twerk is the best battler. I think Twerk is the most popular battler in the world. I think he's, he might be the most dangerous, but I think K-Shine is probably the best battler right now. Consistency-wise and the level of opponents this nigga has taken and, and away with you, my nigga. He on that type of time, like putting niggas in that 3-0 bag and sitting it to the side like, fam, this nigga out here 30 in niggas. It's kind of scary, man. And as much as, like I said, as much as niggas keep bringing up Nitty, like, a nigga ain't 30 in niggas out here like that. It ain't happening. So we got to give credit where it's due. Um, It's a bunch of different shit we can rap about, bro. I just wanted to cut the camera on, put some content out there, just to say I cut the camera on for niggas and talked a little bit. Again, I'm not getting ready to. I know niggas is like, yo, give us a breakdown on Summer Impact. Like, I'm going to go over the predictions for that card probably a week or so before the battle drop if you watch my channel you know how i move i usually wait 
until the week of, and then I try to give y'all who I think gonna win based on what. And I try to wait to the last minute to be as accurate as I can. Um, as far as the rest of the year, I'm anxious, bro. I can't wait to see what these niggas got planned. Um, should be more big battles along the way. Jay Black kept telling niggas this is probably gonna be the best year for battle rap we ever seen. Man, that nigga is right. It's your man, Fat Boy, man. Signing the fuck out the same way I always do. I respect the culture, fam. I advise you niggas to do the same. Hey, yo, Posey! Fuck with you heavy, bro. Take us home. Please don't unplug the game.